Hey YouTube, what's up? My name's Rob Chesapeake Picker here. Welcome to the channel. I'm a part-time reseller based out of Virginia. I'm selling on eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, a little Amazon, a little uh, Depop as well. Um, I got several things going out here. I did a little reorganize into the shed. Um, I used to have my two shelves with my display stuff kind of back to back so you couldn't really see the one but i have done a little bit of rearranging got rid of some stuff and now i was able to put this right here so this used to be my storage area for all my priority boxes and stuff like that i freed up a space in the back i'll show you that and then uh just a little bit of a uh, house cleaning so up in this space here, I used to have a whole bunch of boxes and stuff like that, but I've cleared that out and kind of put that in my storage area. Tape was up here before. This is where I keep all my receipts and everything for everything I buy at thrift stores, garage sales and stuff like that. Keep my tape guns a little bit better organized. These are these little plastic baggies that I talked about in the last video where I store hats and stuff or put those in there before I ship them out. Just some random stuff, scissors, things. A little bit of decorative stuff. Uh, here's where I got my GoPro stuff. So all my gear and stuff's in there. Sometimes I use this little guy to take pictures of hats. Sometimes I don't, but I do have that there. And then here's just a bin where I've got extra cords. So AV cables, U um, HDMI cords, stuff like that that I have. I still got up here, I got bubble wrap and I got, these are just odd shape boxes that I get from work or stuff that things come in. Some stuff I got eBay supplies in. So over here I took the second display rack and I put it there. So this is just some stuff that I don't want to put away. Or maybe I want to show off a little bit in my videos as things that I got. Some some cool little knickknacks, stuff like that. And then now the other one that I have, I have over here. So I can kind of see everything a little bit more clearly. As you can see, I still got my death pile. That's the stuff I gotta get up and listed. So over here, I got rid of two record boxes. I think I'm gonna donate them. And I think I'm never gonna come across enough records to bother filling them up. I still have more that I can fill up, but I got these right here a little bit more condensed. These two racks down here were filled with movies. You see, I have the extra record boxes there. So that's gonna be a free shelf soon. I'll put those away. Uh, but I condensed all my DVDs down and I have them just in these four, five, bo four boxes. So the fifth one's something else. So I just keep all my DVDs here. They're all labeled D, F, whatever. So I have those there. And I used to have like 26 of these things. And so I'm now down to four. And this fifth one just has some can koozies and stuff that I have listed. So these are all of the uh, Hot Wheels cars that I have listed. So each one of these is a lot. So I can just put that custom skew in there. I know exactly which one I need to grab. They're all pre-boxed. But back here is probably where I made the biggest change. So I got my bags up top, the three different sizes of poly bags. I got a 12 by nine, 18 by 18, and 24 by 19. These are just some boxes that I had popped up and ended up not using. And then my other boxes here, what I don't have is eight by six by four. So I'm gonna have to figure that out because I don't have a current spot for them and I'm out. But I got the four by four by four, six by four by four, seven by seven by seven. And then these are all of the priority boxes that you get for free that I use. I have medium and large flat rates, but I got those stored like down underneath racks and stuff because I very rarely use them. Here's a couple more boxes that I bought off of eBay and stuff like that. My bigger ones down here, my and my bubble mailers, and then all that other priority stuff there is where it's currently taking up space. These things have been just a hot mess since I got on these plush dolls and stuff like that. So I have a much better organized. So I have these two up here. I got the other Snoopy and then I got two bins of this one, which of course doesn't sell very well. And I could probably fill both of those back up. So that is not my best buy on the Lucy dolls, but they are there. So we'll see, maybe they'll get hot like Enemyan and I can start selling them out, I don't know. All right, I got these uh, New Balance 996. These are uh, like a suede blue fashion sneaker. Got these for $5.49 at Goodwill. Not really many of these out there. I had them priced high for a while, like 100 bucks plus shipping. I really wasn't getting a lot of views and stuff on it. So I have dropped that price and it did sell for the full listing price currently of $60 plus shipping. And uh, it's going out through eBay. So I made a bigger lot of 
the Hot Wheels cars. I've been selling these in lots of 20. Um, this one, I just decided to put up one at 30 and see if it made a difference. Priced them at $14.99 plus shipping. And I got it in this Region B box, or I mean this Region A box. Did not get, but just one bid. So $14.99 plus shipping. And uh, yeah, one more out the door. Before anything had really reopened and I started up kind of, not full time, but a lot of this reselling on YouTube or on eBay and stuff, I did buy a bunch of Toy Story stuff that was clearance at Walmart. I made some pretty good money on it. Retail arbitrage is just not my thing. I look for stuff when I'm out and about, but that's just not really where I'm gonna make my bread and butter and I know that. This one has been just banging around this Duke Kaboom toy, new in the box, $4.99 plus shipping. Um, it is going to stay first class. It is nice and light, but I think I spent three bucks on it. So I didn't really make any money on it. I have one more left and I, all in all, I got about like 30 things from there. I did sell them all. I did more than double my money on it, but that's just the price sometimes with that. I do have the other one also listed on Amazon for more money right now. So kind of holding that hope it sells on there. We'll see. My last video, I showed you guys a vinyl record that I sold. This is another one. I got this at the same spot with the printer. And then uh, there was another one that I put out last week, uh, Cool in the Gang, or I mean, uh, there was another one that I put out last week. This one is Cool in the Gang, Spirit of the Boogie. This guy wanted five bucks on all of his records. Um, I thought this one, looked pretty cool it had some decent sold comps after i got home and really looked at the condition i had to drop it a little bit for grading issues but i did sell it for uh 15 plus shipping there's a small lot of he-man action figures that i sold mine when i was a kid gave them to my son he never really got into he-man and stuff like that so he gave me a box of toys he wanted to get rid of so all right whatever i had these up for a while somebody sent me an offer on them for 1350 plus shipping and i went ahead and took it this item i had sitting around for a while it was sitting right behind me on the uh on the rack here on my display area and i picked it up there wasn't a whole lot of these out there the ones that had sold sold for money but they tend to be long tail items especially when you're talking about glassware and stuff this was a maryland uh, Renaissance Festival 2006. I spent, I think, $2.98 on this at the store. And uh, like I said, it sat around for a while. It did sell for $22.90 plus shipping. I hate glassware. I just do. I got a bunch of it. I'm getting ready. I have, currently, I probably have like 40 of these glasses and several other beer glasses. I picked them all up from anywhere from 98 cents to a dollar 98 they've been sitting around and you know when i do sell these i sell them in like lots of two or six or whatever and i sold a lot of six for like 30 bucks but they don't bring me any joy they take up a lot of space there's always that chance you're going to break them and i think i'm just going to redonate them all i have this one sitting here the rest of them are sitting on my front porch we had a garage sale this weekend um it rained on saturday so i wasn't able to do anything on saturday had one on sunday nobody came but yeah, I think these are all gone, unless for some reason I changed my mind, but I think all of my low priced movies, anything that's like $7 free shipping or under is just gonna go donated. A lot of my records that I had picked up um, over a year ago, and then all my ones for my buddy, like my old, all these old country and classical music, all those are just gonna get donated, I think. It's a little painful because I spent so much time listing them. I'm talking probably about 250 listings all in maybe not quite that many but quite a bit between cassette tapes vinyl records dvds and glassware but i think i'm just clearing it all out and start a little bit fresh so i got this gore-tex uh, parka i picked up two of these um, one is in really really good shape which is the one that sold and the other one is in good shape but it's a little faded in spots i got these for five bucks these are a men's extra large really nice jackets and I listed it for $85 free shipping. It's gonna be able to go out at a two pound rate. And then the other one I put up at $75 free shipping. It's got a bunch of watchers on it, so it'll go. But this one went out $85 free ship. It cost about eight bucks to ship it out. Here's a little uh, small multi-quantity listing I had. It's this uh, Christmas style at Williamsburg, new sealed DVD. I picked up a bunch of these for a buck 98 around the holidays. And, um, you know, they sell, they don't sell great. I mean, I sell them for $12.99 free shipping. So, you know, I make about like eight bucks after everything's said and done, but all you gotta do is snap two pictures, post it up. I don't mind sales like that. Next up, I got this Nordic Wear Pinata Cake Pan. I picked this up for $2.98 at the thrift store. I had two of them I got at the time. One sold a while back. Um, so I've been sitting on this for, 
for a while now, but it did sell for $14.99 plus shipping. So I got this copy of Grey's Anatomy. This was the 15th edition. I got this for $2.98. I picked up a few books, two of which have sold really, really well already. Um, this one, it's good. It was in beautiful shape. That's why I picked it up. I had it up for $30. Um, free shipping on Mercari and somebody sent me an offer of 23. I kind of went and double checked the recent sold comps and stuff on eBay to see how it was doing and that was going to be more than market value currently on eBay. So I just went ahead and took it after the $5 and change it cost to ship it after my fees, after the three bucks I spent on it, I did make $11 and change in profit and I did only have it for a few weeks. It was right before I took my trips and stuff like that. So not too bad on that. I don't mind making those sales. We got two sales over on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, the first one, first one is this pair of Nike Youth Jordans. Eight retro Tinker Air Raid. These are a youth size five and a half, which makes them a size seven women's. So I've had them up for a while. Um, re I made a video a while back that uh, was talking about uh, do this and and sell your stale profit and stuff. I got a little bit of hate in the comments and stuff because people didn't quite understand what that video was about, but that's okay. Um, did the same thing here. I put the uh, women's size in the title and they did finally sell on Facebook for $30 um, plus shipping. But actually Facebook's doing a thing right now where they're covering the shipping for some things for buyers. So the buyer didn't have to pay shipping. Doesn't impact me. Um, and nice thing about Facebook, I only paid a dollar fifty in fees to ship those out. I picked up this uh, Foot Joy. It's like a men's like half sleeve, or is a half zip, short sleeve shirt jacket. I don't know what you call a thing like this, um, but I've got it for six ninety nine. It was in really good shape. A little more than I like to spend on it, but it's golf stuff. I figured it would move. It did sell for twenty five dollars plus shipping on um, Facebook. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the channel. Always appreciated. Please don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't already done so. Drop me any questions, comments down below. I'll get to them in the future, and then I will see you guys in the next one.